What's happening everybody, Box Jellyfish here, and today I am back with another video. Today I am going to cover the Carcharodontosaurines. Now I suspect that most of you have been wondering what the Carcharodontosaurine subfamily is since you clicked on this video, and I suspect you're not alone. So in this video, I shall address the needs of all of you and explain what the Carcharodontosaurine subfamily actually is and what it consists of. Carcharodontosaurine was a subfamily of theropod dinosaurs known from the Aptian to the Turonian ages of the Cretaceous period in what is now Africa and South America. The subfamily consists of four gigantic and derived Carcharodontosaurids, among the largest theropod dinosaurs known, comparable in size to Tyrannosaurus and Spinosaurus. Carcharodontosaurinae is defined as the least inclusive clade containing Carcharodontosaurus and Giganotosaurus. Within this subfamily is the tribe Giganotosaurini, which was originally its own subfamily, Giganotosaurinae. Giganotosaurini is defined as all Carcharodontosaurines that are closer to Giganotosaurus than to Carcharodontosaurus. I will begin by talking about the dinosaurs in the Giganotosaurini tribe. The first dinosaur that I am going to talk about is Tyrannotitan. Tyrannotitan is a genus of large carnivorous dinosaur of the Carcharodontosaurine subfamily from the Aptian stage of the early Cretaceous period discovered in Argentina. It was a bipedal dinosaur, meaning that it only walked on two legs. It is closely related to other giant predators like Carcharodontosaurus and especially Giganotosaurus as well as Maposaurus. Tyrannotitan was described in 2005 and are best known from the Cerebarcino formation from the Aptian stage around 121 to 112.2 million years ago, making it the oldest known Carcharodontosaurine. The length of these animals has been estimated at 11.4 to 12.2 meters, which is a little bit bigger than a bus, and its mass has been estimated between 4.9 and 7 metric tons, which is a bit heavier than an elephant. The next Carcharodontosaurine that I am going to talk about is Maposaurus. Maposaurus was a giant Carcharodontosaurine which lived 97 to 93.5 million years ago, during the late Cenomanian to the early Turonian age of the late Cretaceous in what is now Argentina and possibly Chile. Maposaurus was a large theropod and was roughly similar in size to its close relative, Giganotosaurus, with the largest known individuals estimated at about 11.5 to 12.6 meters in length or more and weighing about 3 to 5 metric tons. Maposaurus was described in 2006 and it was first discovered in the Huincul Formation. The Huincul Formation is thought to represent an arid environment with seasonal streams. Maposaurus shared its environment with sauropods such as Argentinosaurus, which was one of the largest dinosaurs, if not the largest. A belisaurid theropod Scorpia venata and Illocalesia also lived in the region. The last dinosaur of the Giganotosaurini tribe that I am going to talk about is Giganotosaurus. Giganotosaurus is a genus of theropod dinosaur that lived in what is now Argentina during the early Cenomanian age of the late Cretaceous period, approximately 98 to 97 million years ago. The holotype specimen, which is a single physical example of an organism, known to have been used when the species was formally described, was discovered in the Candeleros Formation of Patagonia in Argentina in 1993 and is almost 70% complete. The animal would go on to be named Giganotosaurus carolini in 1995. The genus attracted much interest and became part of a scientific debate about the maximum sizes of theropod dinosaurs. Giganotosaurus was one of the largest known terrestrial carnivores. Estimates for the most complete specimen, 
range from a length of 12 to 13 meters and a mass of 4.2 to 13.8 metric tons, which is large to say the least. Some researchers have found the animal to be larger than Tyrannosaurus, which was historically considered to be the largest theropod, while others have found them to be roughly equal in size and the largest size estimates for Giganotosaurus exaggerated. The skull was low with rough and wrinkled nasal bones, and there was also a ridge-like crest in front of the eye. The front of the lower jaw was flattened and had a downwards projecting process, or chin, at the tip. The chin may have helped in resisting stress when a bite was delivered against prey. The teeth were compressed sideways and had serrations. It may have been relatively fast moving, with a calculated maximum running speed of 50 km per hour, which is about the same speed as a grizzly bear when running. It would have been capable of closing its jaws quickly, capturing and bringing down its prey by delivering powerful bites. Giganotosaurus is thought to have been the apex predator of its ecosystem, and it may have fed on juvenile sauropod dinosaurs. The last dinosaur that I am going to talk about is Carcharodontosaurus. Carcharodontosaurus is a genus of carnivorous Carcharodontosaurid dinosaur that lived during the Cenomanian stage of the Late Cretaceous period in Northern Africa. It is currently known to include two species, Carcharodontosaurus saharicus and Carcharodontosaurus iguidensis, which are among the largest theropods, nearly as large or even larger than Tyrannosaurus, Giganotosaurus, and Spinosaurus. Carcharodontosaurus has been discovered across North Africa, including the Kemkem beds and the Baharia formation. Carcharodontosaurus includes some of the longest and heaviest known carnivorous dinosaurs, with various scientists proposing length estimates for the species Carcharodontosaurus saharicus, ranging between 12 and 13.3 meters, and mass estimates between 6.2 and 15.1 metric tons. The second species, Carcharodontosaurus iguidensis, is estimated to have had a length of 10 meters and a mass of 4 metric tons. Carcharodontosaurus were carnivores, with enormous jaws and long serrated teeth up to 20 centimeters long. This dinosaur had extremely strong neck muscles. Carcharodontosaurus was able to lift animals weighing a maximum of 424 kilograms in its jaws based on the strength of its jaws, neck and its centre of mass. Carcharodontosaurus does not have the largest known theropod skull, as that currently belongs to another huge Carcharodontosaurian dinosaur, the closely related Giganotosaurus with skull estimates of up to 1.95 meters, but this has been disputed. I hope you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe as it really helps me out, and make sure to turn on notifications if you want to learn more about prehistoric life, space, and science overall. Check out some of my other videos on this channel, and until next time, goodbye.